and welcome to another insightful edition of the Tax Talk, a program that helps viewers understand the seemingly complex issues on taxation and tax administration, particularly in Lagos State. I'm your host, Oinlala Sali. I'm glad to let you know that we've lined up a variety of segments that will empower you with knowledge and insights to help you master your taxes. From the latest news in business to our spotlight on the big story, there is so much more to look forward to. This is a Tax Talk. This is Business News. In compliance with the stipulations outlined in the Personal Income Tax Amendment Act, the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service has issued a formal notification to all individual taxpayers, including self-employed individuals and employees under the pay scheme to file their annual tax returns on or before 31st March 2024. The Executive Chairman, LIRS, announced this in a statement signed by the Head Corporate Communications, Mrs. Monsura Tamasao Yelude. Under Section 41 of the Amendment Act, all taxable entities must submit a return reflecting their total income from all sources from the preceding fiscal year to the relevant state tax authorities within 90 days of the commencement of each new assessment year. The executive chairman further underscored the importance of adhering to the deadline as he urged all individual taxpayers, including self-employed individuals and employees, under the PE scheme in Lagos State to fulfill their obligation by the stipulated day to avoid penalties and other statutory consequences. While emphasizing that tax returns should be submitted exclusively through the LIRS e-tax portal, which can be accessed at etax.lirs.net, the LIRS board said all taxable entities within Lagos State must register on the e-tax portal, which has been designed to provide ease, convenience, and security to taxpayers. According to the executive chairman, quote, in furtherance of our commitment to facilitating compliance for taxpayers, dedicated tax officers are available at our various tax stations to assist individuals in completing online registration and tax return submissions via the e-tax portal. For filing and other tax-related inquiries, taxpayers are encouraged to contact the Customer Service Center at 0700 2255 or via email at etaxinfo at lirs.net. Additionally, individuals can engage with LIRS on various social media platforms or visit the agency's website at www.lirs.gov.ng for further information. Lagos residents have lauded the ONJ Equo Initiative introduced by the Governor Babajide Sawulu administration as part of efforts to cushion the economic hardship. The governor had on February 22 announced some interventions to ameliorate the prevailing economic crisis on residents. One of the measures is the Onje Eco Initiative, where residents can buy foodstuff at discounted prices. The initiative will run for about five Sundays. Staples at the market will rise, beans, bread, egg, gary, pepper, and onion. The vouchers are color-coded to differentiate the produce while residents who come with cash will have the cash exchange for debit cards. Chief Moshud Alashi, a resident of Igbe Dumo, commended the government for bringing the initiative. He urged Governor Sanwulu to ensure its continuity because, according to him, it is a big relief to people whose purchasing power has dwindled. He also admonished other people to be orderly and adhere to the instructions of officials coordinating affairs at the centre. An egg vendor at Igbe Dumo, Mrs. Julie Ikwaga, who represented the Poultry Association of Nigeria, described the initiative as a very good one. He also praised the Lagos State Government for helping both the residents and vendors. Coordinator of the Igbe Dumo Centre, Mrs. Noimo Takiola, a deputy director in the Ministry of Agriculture, promised to ensure a hitch-free exercise. She also clarified the purchase process to residents for better understanding. Chairman of the Council, Mr. Kunde Sonyaolu Lopejo, described the fair as meticulously organized. He promised that the Council will support the state government's initiative by bringing its own produce to distribute freely to residents. 
The President and Chairman of the Council of the Chartered Institute of Transaction of Nigeria, Mr. Samuel Agbilui, has charged new licensed tax practitioners to uphold ethical standards while discharging their duties. Agbilui made the call during the presentation of practicing license certificates in Lagos State. He urged them to consistently demonstrate the highest levels of ethical standards and professionalism expected of licensed tax practitioners. According to Agbeluye, the Institute expects practitioners to refer always to the provisions of a charter, professional roles, and practice guidelines and the statement of taxation standards. Agbeluye stated that the Institute also expected tax practitioners to hold in high esteem its core values, which had been redefined as service, teamwork, excellence, and professionalism. He encouraged recently licensed tax practitioners to align themselves with the ongoing evolution of global taxation and best practices. Mr. Agbele noted that members should be informed of the Institute's effort to enhance its certification value. And that's it on Business News. Oh, I nearly broke my leg rushing out the door. Oh no, I'm sorry baby. Where are you rushing off to? I'm rushing to the LIRS office to find my tax return. Nearly tripped on the stairs trying to answer your call. <laughs> baby, come on. You can file your tax online without having to break a leg. Yeah? Are you sure? You're laughing at me, Abby. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay, listen, I'm serious, baby. Listen to me. You can file your tax online using the eTax platform. It's easy and straightforward. Simply log on to eTax.lirs.net using your payer ID and voila. eTax is an automated electronic tax payment service that makes tax operations more convenient for taxpayers. Taxpayer registration or easy access for both new and existing taxpayers. eTax. Simple, quick, reliable, and secure. For more information on how to use the eTax services, log on to w www.etax.lirs.net Thank you for staying tuned. It's time to dive into our big story of the day. Filing of individual annual tax returns. Filing of annual tax return can seem like a daunting task but it's a vital responsibility that ensures ones remain compliant with tax regulations. Our crop of experts provide insights and equip us with the knowledge we need to navigate it successfully. This is the big story. Filing tax returns by an individual in Lagos is not just an administrative requirement, it's a fundamental part of contributing to the growth and development of the state. Individual taxpayers are obligated to report their income and deductions for the previous financial year. The Lagos State Revenue Service Act stipulates the obligations of individuals in this regard. Under Section 41 of the Amendment Act, all taxable entities must submit a return reflecting their total income from all sources, including self-employed individuals and employees under the PE scheme for the preceding fiscal year to the relevant state tax authorities within 90 days of the commencement of each new assessment year. Tax filing is, is actually a statutory requirement. It, it is uh, what the law has asked to do, with, uh, which is the Personal Income Tax Act 2004 as amended federal laws of uh, Nigeria. Individuals and corporate entities must file their returns to um, the agency uh, on or before the 31st of March for individuals. The law emphasizes the importance of accurate reporting. Individuals are expected to provide a comprehensive account of their income, including details of all sources, allowances, and deductions. This legal foundation not only ensures compliance, but also fosters transparency and accountability in the tax system. As an entrepreneur, you are not just an individual. 
a natural person. You are also a legal person, your business. And businesses need a number of things. You first have to comply with your own corporate social responsibility, um, not just in terms of community service, but in terms of meeting your tax obligations. There are a lot of benefits for filing of returns. Um, one of such benefits is a tax clearance certificate. Um, obviously, because it's a statutory requirement, if uh, people don't pay and file for their taxes, then there are penalties. Um, you know, you, you could have um, your penalties carried or your um, taxes carried forward for next year's uh, deductions. And then you could also claim, you know, for deductions of your withholding taxes. So the penalties, uh, the benefits are there for uh, people to um, get their, their taxes. The process of tax return has never been this convenient. This is because the LIRS has introduced online platforms and user-friendly interfaces to streamline the filing experience and encourage more individuals to fulfill their tax obligations promptly. We've been able to add a whole lot of technology to make life simple for everybody. Right in the convenience of your bedroom, you can pay your tax. We have this enterprise platform we call eTax, enterprise tax. Everybody should register there. In as much as we don't collect CIT, which is company income tax, they have an obligation to render returns to us through the form H1, which we contain the wages, deductions of all their staff that render tax to us under pay, P -A -Y -E, payee, that's pay as you earn. For individuals, individuals who are filing returns on their income shall do so um, using our portal, which is uh, etax.lrs.net. Once they log in with their taxpayer ID, they'll be able to click on the returns tab and then be able to file the return on their income for the preceding year. That's not all. The Lagos State Government has established support channels providing guidance and assistance to those seeking clarity on their tax obligations. The impact of tax and development in Lagos cannot be overemphasized. Funds generated through annual tax returns play a pivotal role in funding public services and infrastructural projects. From road maintenance to healthcare initiatives, the contributions of individual taxpayers collectively shape the developmental landscape of Lagos. Tax payment is our road. Tax payment is our health. Tax payment is our schools. And tax payment is our security of lives and property. So it is something that the government use to actually cater or implement this that we have mentioned. People come to Lagos, they can see the level of development, they can see the level of growth in the system. They can also see that members of the public get highly qualitative social um, utilities to use and um, social services schools, hospitals, and all the, the expectations. So um, we might not exactly be where we want to be, but we are certainly moving in that direction. And if you compare Lagos State with all the other states in, in Nigeria, the difference is very clear. The continuous development in Lagos State is basically from what I call strategic planning from the side of government. They've been very strategic, making use of the tax revenue appropriately, without any wastage. And um, like I would say, development is a continuum. And you must continue to even maintain and sustain that development. So the governor has been very fantastic in terms of strategic planning. And without money, which is tax revenue, you can't really develop anything. Every eligible resident is required to submit accurate financial details 
to the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service by the stipulated deadline. If you fall into the trap of not paying your tax, the consequences are serious. You can go to jail. We have cases of past president in America now that have been troubled because of tax uh, evasion. And even in a place like South Africa here, if you avoid your tax, avoid payment of their actual tax, you can find yourself in trouble. As the filing deadline approaches, the Lagos state government is making strides to simplify the process. For filing and other tax-related inquiries, taxpayers have been encouraged to contact the Customer Service Center at 0700-2255-5477 or via email at etaxinfo at lirs.net. And then we have the 40 tax stations and we have the 40 mini tax stations. So you have like over 80 tax stations and the head office making 81 where you can go and within proximity to have your tax issues resolved. And the beauty of it also is that we have tax um, friendly um, staff who are very knowledgeable and ready to attend to your needs. And for the informal sector, we have people that speak Hausa, Ibo, Yoruba. So you do not have a language barrier as far as paying your tax is concerned. And we also do what is called tax um, structures, where you can even as an association have us um, come to your association and we get to have a timetable of all the locations that you have. And we structure a timetable that we come to wherever you are within the state and ensure that you are able to pay your taxes for yourself and for your association members with ease. So those are a few of the things that um, we do within the LRS to ensure that ta paying your tax is not stressful and it comes with the ease of doing business that we promote within the state. Additionally, individuals can also engage with LIRS on various social media platforms or visit the agency's website at www.lirs.gov.ng for further information. As an online entrepreneur, I am an advocate for tax morale, and I urge my fellow entrepreneurs to fulfill their civic duty by filing their returns. I handle my business with integrity, and my customers trust me. And it is my civic duty to file my returns and pay my tax because I trust the government. It is my civic responsibility to file my income returns, pay my tax on time to avoid penalties. You have until 31st March 2024 to fulfill this important civic obligation. Failure to file your individual annual returns attracts stiff penalties on the falters. For inquiries, visit www.lirs.gov.ng. This message is from the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS. As seen in the big story, Taxation is woven around our income and understanding it is the first step towards making informed financial decisions. Let's take a break and we will be right back. Today, Mr. President, we mark an historic milestone in the annals of Lagos and indeed in our nation with the commissioning of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit, the Red Line, a 37 kilometer of modern engineering that stretches from Agbadu, again in Ogun State, all the way to Oyibo, and in the phase two will connect to National Arts Theatre. This is one example of an agency out of bureaucracy that works. Well guided, well committed, a well designed blueprint because it's about people, the engineering. Reconstruction, 
the affirmation of our pledge to be loyal to our country. That's one thing I know definitely is that there is a very bright light at the end of the tunnel. We put in a lot of work to build what our predecessors have done and to continue delivering results to the people of Lagos State. There are a total of six lines that we have on our Lagos rail mass transit system when fully developed. We have already started preliminary works on the next two rail projects, the Green Line and the Purple Line. The Green Line is a 71.4 kilometer rail from Marina all the way to the Lekki Free Trade Zone. The Purple Line is a 54.35 kilometer rail from Ojo, close to Alasu, all the way into Moe, again, inside Ogun State. This is about our democracy. We are happy with it. And that's our show for today on the Tax Talk. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Join us in our next episode for another enlightening discussion on the Tax Talk. Until then, my name is Oin Lola Sally. Stay informed, stay tax compliant. <laughs>